I'm Dr. Minakshi Sundaramesh and uh, I am the administrator and I'm also the page admin for Ask ASM. Today we'll be discussing about one question from JIPMA, November 2015. And I'll read the question for you for your benefit. All are true of Chagas disease except A. Romanos sign is a diagnostic feature of acute Chagas disease. B. Tsitsi fly is actually the vector for acute Chagas disease and it is also called as Glossina palpalis, cultured in triple N medium, which is Novi, McNeil and Nicole medium, has mastigote and triple forms. All of you had shown a lot of interest in answering these three questions. It was really nice of you to try to answer because one of the options, option B, is a very simple option because these kind of options can easily fetch a very good answer for your question. The strength of an MCQ lies in the weakest option which can be answered by students. So obviously you know that since fly is not actually the vector for Trypanosoma cruzi, we always know that triatomine bug, which is also called as the kissing red wing bug, is the vector for Trypanosoma cruzi. Apart from that, how do we deal with the first, the third and the fourth options? Please remember Chagas disease is though called as American trypanosomiasis or American sleeping sickness. Sleeping sickness is not actually a problem because of Trypanosoma cruzi. Trypanosoma cruzi is properly known for the CNS involvement which leads to sleep, but Trypanosoma cruzi is known for attacking the visceral organs. Chagas disease is also called as mega disease. It rhymes like that. Chagas disease resembles or rhymes like mega disease. Everything or every organ that is under attack by this particular host or the parasite becomes bigger. The most important organ that can cause death would be the heart. When the heart is involved, the organism or the parasite assumes a very central position in the epicardial cells and the myocardial cells around which chronic inflammation happens. When the organism is present there and irritates the muscle layer and also the chronic inflammation is present there, it can destroy minor neuronal cells present in the heart because of which the heart muscle can go for fibrosis and also it can cause changes in the conduction system. Please remember, Trypanosoma cruzi is not only capable of causing a change in the inotropic effect, the dromotropic effect, it also is capable of causing a change in the chronotropic effect. So the rate of heart contraction, the force of heart contraction, the rate of spread of this particular impulse is also changed. The same organism can also attack your GIT in the intestines and in the colon, it is capable of destroying the neural texts because of which there is swelling or there is an increase in size of the lumen of the GIT. So it can also call as picoloma. Picoloma would mean to say there is obstruction in the GIT because of this organism capable of causing enlargement of the lumen of the GIT. So there is mega colon, there is mega heart, it is a mega disease. Also, the most important part is diagnostics. Right now, you can culture the organism in triple and medium, but the better kind of results would be acquired from a PCR assay. Also, please remember, when it is the organism is found inside the bug, it is in the form of epiastigote form. Then it enters into the human being whenever it looks for a blood meal. And through the blood meal, it defecates, the organism enters into the circulation. It actually swims in the human blood as tripomasticote. Once it enters into the tissues, it becomes a masticote. So the three major masticote forms are tripomasticote, which is in the blood, a masticote, which is the tissues, and also the epimasticote through which the organism enters from the host or from the particular insect into the human host. So remember, if I say up mastigot, there is no mastigum. Mastigophora is a class where you have the organism having flagella. So when flagella is absent, it becomes a mastigot. The flagella reaches complete potential, it is called a stripomasticot. These are the common things that you have to be knowing about Trypanosoma cruzi against Trypanosoma bruzi. This causes African sleeping sickness, that is bruzi. Cruzi is known for Chagas disease that causes American sleeping sickness, which is actually a mega disease. Thank you very much for watching. You can actually always go back to my Facebook page where you can ask me many questions as possible. So I would be happy to explain all the answers or all the questions that you ask me for. Clarifications will be given for free. So please subscribe. Thank you.